Francis Ford Coppola, one of the greatest filmmakers of all time, has just been accused of kissing extras in his latest movie Megalopolis, set to come out in just a few days in the Cannes International Film Festival. In this article, uh, several sources told the publication that Coppola was old school in his behavior towards women and who knows what old school means. The article further says that he allegedly pulled women to sit on his lap for example, reads the Guardian report and during one nightclub scene being shot for the film, witnesses say Coppola came on the sets and tried to kiss some of the topless and scantily clad female extras. He apparently claimed he was trying to get them in the mood. Again, these are just allegations and nothing has been proven yet. But it is worrying that several crew members have come out, not one, not two. Several of them have come out and said uh, about these allegations. And the problematic thing here is that even the producer has acknowledged it to some extent, not fully, but the producer says that Coppola does it to basically enhance the mood of the set. He's trying to make a great movie and in making this great movie, he wants everyone to feel comfortable by making them uncomfortable, I guess, but he's trying to do something um, that will basically improve the movie. And this is the bit that I'm talking about. The producer says there were two days when we shot a celebratory Studio 54S club scene where Francis walked around the set to establish the spirit of the scene by giving kind hugs and kisses on the cheek to the cast and background players. He added, it was his way to help inspire and establish the club atmosphere, which was so important to the movie. Otherwise, it, it wouldn't have worked. If Francis Ford, Ford Coppola didn't roam around and kissed uh, all, the, all the extras that were working there, there won't be any atmosphere in the scene. It was very essential, guys, very essential. And I was never aware of any complaints of harassment or ill behavior during the course of the project. So during the course of the project, obviously nothing came up and now things are coming up. And again, these are just allegations. But again, is this normal behavior or is this some kind of a behavior that you expect from a director on a set? Maybe during the old times, it was pretty normal. And I'm, maybe I'm, I'm from this particular time. I was born, born in the year 2000. But for me, um, this is problematic because I think many people on the set, sets, even if they were uncomfortable, the fact that Francis Ford Coppola is walking around and doing this, they won't come out and tell anyone. Maybe 70% of them were feeling fine, maybe 30% weren't. Um, and now that they are coming out, people will say that why didn't they come out earlier? It's very messed up, okay? This is not normal behavior, this is pretty complex. And again, that's not it guys, like Coppola's behavior was not just limited to that one particular experience. Crew members have told The Guardian that Coppola would often show up in the mornings before these big sequences and because no plan had been put in place and because he wouldn't allow his collaborators to put a plan in place, he would just sit in his trailer for hours on end, wouldn't talk to anybody, was often smoking marijuana and hours and hours would go by without anything being filmed. And the crew and the cast would all stand around and wait. Then it come out and whip up something that didn't make sense. Again, these, this is the behavior of someone who, who is obviously entitled to himself, who doesn't value the time of others, who has clearly paid a lot for this project. He owns this project. He has the right to be the boss. But again, this is not a behavior of someone who values everyone's time. Like someone like Chris Nolan is so economical with his time. Like, I think Oppenheimer was shot in 60 days and not a minute or a second was wasted in that movie. But here Francis Ford Coppola is like the boss. Another crew member said, This sounds crazy to say, but there were times when we were all standing around going, has this guy ever made a movie before? A guy like Francis Ford Coppola who has been around in the industry for like forever, one of the most acclaimed directors of all time, most respected directors of all time, is being accused of these things. Maybe all are, everything is false. but. After reading this article, if you don't get the hint that this is a guy who wants to be in control, who wants to stay in control, sure, there are stories where he did not have control for The Godfather and probably he should have had more control over that particular movie, at least in terms of the decision making and the script process and how he had to fight uh, Paramount to make that movie. That all is very inspiring. But this is another side that I just wanted to highlight. This is not a lone incident. Old school directors used to do this. Even stories of Stanley Kubrick or Roman Polanski and Francis Ford Coppola. These guys have done some fucked up things in the past. Maybe it was normal during that time. So I'm not accusing them of doing anything that they used to do. Those were different times. Many things that um, were considered normal are not considered normal now. And people are coming out and saying things now. Uh, because at that time it was pretty normal and no one spoke up. Now they are coming out and speaking up. Um, many people watching this video say will say, will accuse me saying that uh, these people are just coming out to get fame. 
but the things that Francis Ford Coppola is being accused of at least, at least um, merits a discussion and a debate uh, and it deserves to be spoken about. Um, I think Megalopolis uh, will get hurt by all this controversy um, and I think there should be controversy because I think maybe not 100% of this is true but I think at least 20% of this is true which is still concerning and of course people said positive things about Coppola and how great he was uh, at the set as well that all is fine but the negative ones really do stand out because those are really problematic and the fact is that this movie take for, took forever to make and the fact is that directors sometimes um, have this bossy behavior of, of holding the cast and crew on hold not letting them do their job like when I read the original The Guardian's article there was a piece that said that Francis Ford Coppola himself did not know how the movie would look and he would spend so much time and wasting so so much time of the production designer as well and his time as well and it was all just very messed up and I just hope that uh, articles like these come out and basically um, tell us that we think about that golden generation that was maybe it was not that golden at all maybe the times that we are living in although problematic like i i do get the wokeism and everything and i hate wokeism like everything is being basically cancelled everyone is being cancelled i'm not going to cancel francis ford coppola over this these are just allegations but these need to be talked about 30 years ago there won't be even one article on this was that fair it wasn't fair at least there's an article on this. Of course, Francis Ford Coppola will defend himself and the, the, the producer will defend himself. But the producer did not come out and say that those things did not happen. Those things did happen. And the behavior of Francis Ford Coppola uh, on this movie is concerning. To me, at least. Maybe it's fine for you. Maybe it's totally fine when someone is making you wait uh, for hours and hours. Um, maybe it's totally fine for you. Um, but again, this increases the budget of the movie. And that has uh, exponential impact on the theater industry and on the studios and everything. It's not a very selfish thing. That's why I'm saying that the producer is the boss of the movie, not the director. And there's a reason that you have a producer and you have a director and you have other components. It, it, it basically streamlines the process. If the director has too much power, this, these things often happen. And I think uh, Francis Ford Coppola maybe having too much power was the problem here. But again, this was just my opinion. I know that most of the videos will probably defend Francis Ford Coppola over this. I don't see how you can defend his behavior, at least from what he's being accused of. The only thing you can say is that all the accusers have lied, which is totally fine. But there are so many movies coming out and so many directors. Why haven't they lied about any other director? Why are they lying about Francis Ford Coppola in particular? Um, these things could be coincidences, could be about fame, could be about um, those kinds of things. But again, I don't think that's the case. Even 20% of this, if it's true, it is problematic and needs to be talked about. I know I may get, get a lot of hate for this particular video, but I had to come out and say what I felt about this. So if you like this video, please do like and subscribe and many thanks for watching.